Oh, here they come. Yes. yes. A lot has changed in the game of baseball since it took the stage as America's favorite pastime over 150 years ago. The rules, the equipment, and most dramatically, the technology. Radar guns, instant replay, and fox tracks all changed the way we watch the game. But now the relationship between baseball and the tech world is about to take another step forward, and the twins are leading the way. If I'm stuck here in the middle where I'm checking, if I hit A, it's in the same position. What's even better, you get to be a part of it. Welcome to Virtual Reality Baseball. All right, we're good. Okay, rock. For the first time in Major League Baseball, you, the fan, get an interactive virtual look at everything behind the scenes. Ever wanted to know what it's really like to be a pro? Well, now you will, thanks to the Twins and Supersphere VR. Someday, baby, someday. On July 29th, the first 5,000 fans at Target Field will get a pair of Google Cardboard goggles that turn your smartphone into a virtual reality viewer. From there, with Trevor May as your guide, you'll experience Twins game day firsthand. The camera is the viewer, right, because it's a yeah. singular it's experience. Different. Yeah, so the more you engage with the person, the better experience people have. Yeah, the more they feel like they're like, oh, I'm talking to him right here, I'm right standing right here. Standing right there in the clubhouse, the bullpen, and at batting practice, it's all right there in front of you, and not to mention behind you as well. Strike him out! Along the way, you'll also get to know Trevor May, and if you didn't know it already, this stuff is right up his alley. I'm a big tech guy. Uh, I'm a big nerd, um, and I use that in the most positive term possible. This is what I live for. For May and the rest of the Twins, giving fans the chance to be closer to the game than they've ever been before with virtual reality is just one way to say thank you to the people who make their dreams an actual reality. Without fans, we don't have a job. This, all of this doesn't exist um, if people don't enjoy watching the game. So to make that connection, you can uh, kind of live, live with them and, and, and kind of know, they know how you're feeling along with uh, themselves. When things go bad or things go good. It's, it's just a lot more fun that way, I think. Um, and to be the person that you know, has been asked to, to kind of be like I'm talking to them, uh, you know, it's something I've always been interested in too and I enjoy doing. Once you follow Trevor through his daily routine, the experience still isn't over. That's the great thing about virtual reality. The fan after that can then say, okay, I'm gonna watch it again. I know what Trevor's gonna say. I wanna like scope out the field. I wanna see what's in other places uh, in the viewport. And having 360 degrees allows the viewer to do sort of whatever they want. Trevor May gets to see all of Target Field on a daily basis, but as a self-proclaimed tech nerd, take a wild guess what he'll be doing after the game on July 29th. I wanna try it out and hang out with myself. I I mean, that's something I've never done before, so. As they say, there's a first time for everything. And when it comes to baseball and virtual reality, it's the twins who are making it happen.